Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's July 26th, 2024. Everyone's at the National except for us. Well, maybe you are at the National watching this, but I am not at the National. I'm hanging out here in Shenanigans Card Park. We have not ripped very much flagship, uh, so we are going to get into this Topps Series 2 Blaster Really, my excitement for this was that now I can cut this out or the front one out and add him to the wall in a Yankee Uni. Hopefully, he stays there a long time. Uh, even though the Yankees are scuffling, they look really, really bad. Uh, but should be a good time. Flagship's always a fun little rip. Uh, really going to be chasing inserts. And my goal is maybe a Jackson Merrill SP rookie card. That'd be pretty sweet. In the dugout today are David Ortiz and Dylan Cease and Desist. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a close look at both of those beautiful cards, talk about why they're in the dugout, as well as looking at some highlights. Let's get into it. Captain, are you ready? Number two, Lego Cheater. Number two. These guys need to hit better than the real Yankees. That is for sure. They look really, really bad right now. I don't know what's going to happen with the Yankees, but may I feel like Boone's got to go. I mean, that's really kind of the end of the story, right? Someone, some head has to roll, and usually it's the manager. Um, that said, uh, you know, I, I wasn't overly impressed with the uh, Series 2 checklist, but what happened was I got my little Big 5 coupon in the mail, which $10 off $30 spent, and so I went and I got a blaster for, you know, a reasonable price because, as you notice, we are not ripping a ton because everything is just way overpriced. Uh, I'd love to rip some Topps Chrome, but at $40 a blaster for, what, 20 or so cards? Just get real. I'll, I'll hunt singles. If I spur of the moment come across a, a, something and maybe I, I get it, but, um, you know, I'm not intending to be buying chrome at that at this price point not with the, the amount they're printing not with the checklist um i'll really just try to chase jason dominguez and those guys is singles what a cool shot that is i wonder if that's an sp or something 73 no i have not seen very many where they over put the photo over the the logo there the team name very cool Mason Miller, so pulled his auto out of Topps Chrome last year, pitcher whammy, but he's throwing really well. He's an all-star this year, highly touted, and there are grumblings that the Yankees could maybe make a play for him. Oh, we pulled an auto. It's a pitcher whammy first pack fire, though. We have not had hits around here in forever. Go ahead, run them bases, Jeets. Woo! Who does that? Who pulls an auto? Nice. One run scored out of the first pack. Usually they fall somewhere in the middle. He's even pressing down. Like I can see the, if you can see that, it's like old school pressing down. Prelander Baroa. Ooh, and a Josh Young blue. Wow. Auto hit. Bam. Josh Young blue. Also not bad. Mason Wynn. I think I pulled this one out of the fat packs we were ripping. Well, that was fun. I was kind of hoping for something to cheer about because... Ooh, we got a backwards on the top. That's interesting. Ooh, it's a black. Black border. Hmm. We'll find out. Oh, we're all over the place with this. This is some shenanigans right here. Nice, Miggy Cabrera. What do you got here? Oh, it's the uh, the special inserts you get. A lot of pitcher whammy action going on right here. We don't love that. Zach Neto, very uh, good young player. Sedan Rafaela is in Series 1, so we're not going to be seeing that. Cody Bellinger. That was a crazy little roundabout pack but i like i i do like these uh you know back in the day they were sort of generic but they look cool with the 35th anniversary i like the images they're using um so that's a pretty sweet card right there i'd say that's like a a single for a judge let's get pencil head lebron in here a coup a coup we didn't rub you you and we pulled an auto in the first pack maybe 
you need a break. I don't know. So uh, as we rip here, I'm, I'm curious if, if uh, you are at the National or if you've been watching any National content, what your thoughts are. Because, you know, I don't like to poo-poo other channels, so I'm not going to name any channels. But I've watched a little bit of content from the National, and I have not been impressed. Um, I just don't think the content itself has been very good. Christian Pache, Silent T. Um, it's been, you know, I'm watching content and it's like, all right, show me what the, the show looks like. Chrome Christian Yelich, his career might be over. Uh, obviously just news came out. He went on the DL back issues, trying to not have surgery, but you know, backs are bad as Don Mattingly will tell you. Um, but yeah, so I've been watching some content and it's like if you just strap a gopro on your head or on your chest and go let's walk around the national all you're gonna see ooh, that looks interesting all you're really gonna see is just crowds of people walking around i'm not getting a look at booths i'm not really seeing anything and then carter stars at mlb what do we got here oh spencer strider obviously done for the year with tommy john but should be back strong next year Zach McKinstry, Kutch, and so, oh, P. Crow Armstrong. There we go. That's one of the rookies we're hunting. Solid. I think that moves Judge to second. Because really, that's what you're hunting is rookie cards. Let's get Lego LeBron in there. Nice. Michael King, former Yankee, playing well for the uh, pods. Uh, yeah, and so just the national content... I just have been really disappointed because I'm kind of hoping if you go back and you watch my national videos, I don't put a lot of, you know, walking around uh, in in those. I do recap basically, you know, stills and some video of cool booths and cool things at the national. And when I search the hashtag, you know, like NSCC or NSCC 2024 and what comes up, you know, it's just it hasn't been that great. So I'm curious, is anybody watching content what are your thoughts on the content joe boyle Nolan jones backwards Ooh, that's a hit of some kind another the, the base christian yellow so that's cool it's got no it's not numbered it's got no border on it just a rookie cup tops logo down on the bottom so at the end, I, in the recap of the highlights, I will tell you what that card's all about because I just do not know. Uh, I have watched, you know, so, and then uh, continuing with the national content, um, there's been some cool stuff. Ooh, it's a pitcher whammy again, but uh, at least he's a Yankee. I don't think this guy's in the show. If the Yankees probably could use him. We need all the bullpen help we can get. Uh, but I watched, like, Pac-Man rip uh, a bunch of, of national packs, the Panini national packs, the two cards per pack. And he he got some cool... Um, Novelli Marte, 89, and Yankee PC card right there. And he got, you know, some cool uh, WNBA, a little Caitlin Clark, you know, a little Cameron Brink. Um, I think that... 89 is nice. Not going to score him, but maybe the captain, last pack mojo. Um, not as good as when I went in 2019 and, la you know, the, the cards he was pulling, I just was not overly impressed other than the WNBA cards. All right, can we get some last pack mojo? I was just wondering to myself, where is Tuki Toussaint? I pulled his auto uh, out of Bowman Inception, I believe it was. Courtesy of Fab Sub, Matt Spencer, I believe, sent that box over. And he was supposed to be such a highly touted prospect and just nothing. And so now here he is with the White Sox. All right. Bread Bitey. Gilbert, Lindor. Lindor coming on strong right now. He owned the Yankees the other day. Carlos Estevez. Some people call him Charlie Sheen, but he goes by his birth name, Carlos Estevez. Ooh, home run challenge. And Bo Bichette also on the IL right now. Hopefully not for too long. 
The home run challenge cards are not as prevalent as they should be. Uh, and the the numbers are so high of the hits, it's, I can't figure it out. Like, when they first started this, it was a lot easier to pull a home run challenge card. I believe this is the first one I have pulled, and I still have from Fab Sub Victor Negron. He sent over a Vladdy Jr. one that I should have used any of the last few days because he's been raking. Uh, but yeah, so not bad on a, a little home run challenge card. And an auto hit, plus something crazy here. Really, actually, overall, that's a really, really solid blaster. Uh, let's send it down onto the field, take a close look at Big Poppy and Dylan Cease and Desist, and then we'll look at some highlights. In the dugout today is Big Poppy, David Ortiz, and Dylan Cease. Big Poppy's in there because this week was the anniversary of the 2022 Hall of Fame class induction, including Big Poppy. And I made a short where you can take my cards, so make sure you get over there, watch that. Give it a thumbs up. If we can get 34 likes and you comment with Big Poppy on that short, I'm giving away this Major League Material game use relic of the Hall of Famer. Uh, joining him in the dugout is Dylan cease because he threw a no hitter this week he's been close a couple of times he missed one by one out but he now is the second padre in history to throw a no hitter and it's pretty cool that they're both actively on the padres right now joe musgrove or no no joe had one uh, a year or two ago and now dylan cease joins him so pretty sweet uh for the padres congratulations to dylan cease on his first career no hitter maybe not his last all right let's slide it over take a look at a few highlights we had a fairly banger slash classic shenanigans level blaster at least related to the highlights so pretty sweet pete crow armstrong rookie card definitely a rookie you want to get but our two big hits Prelander Barroa and Nolan Jones. So the Prelander Barroa 89 autograph, they fall about 1 in 2,800 packs for blasters. He is no longer with the Mariners. Now he's with the White Sox. Uh, he got called up in April, probably sent back down. I have no idea where the guy is now. Nolan Jones currently on the IL. This is called a true photo variation. So an SP. Uh, I clocked him on eBay. They were going about anywhere between 15 to 20 dollars buy it now or you know auctions where it was a couple bucks uh so we'll definitely keep an eye on both of those players see if maybe they can turn it around or come off the il and play well uh but overall you know it's pretty sweet when you get hits but this is card collecting shenanigans and this is the kind of hits we get sometimes uh which continues to make it fun uh, but please do leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the rippage. Did you have any favorite cards? Always looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.